So, with the release of the Big Italy film, a lot of you guys probably wondered yourself what happened to the Yamaha XJ600? And today on the Free Miles MC, I'm going to answer this question. So for all the people that are new on the channel and that maybe discovered this through the motorcycle surf trip, this is the original bike on the channel, the Yamaha XJ600 that I went to Morocco, Iceland and Italy with. As you can see behind me, the bike is still in pieces and still not put together. Um, so when I came back from Iceland, the bike wasn't running anymore and I actually tried to repair it for quite some time. So that's kind of the first thing I want to get into the thing that already happened to this motorcycle. Already in Iceland there were a few problems, the bike wasn't starting properly and many people don't know this bike actually already had starting issues when I bought it and often had to start it with starter spray or with push starting it already before the problems in Iceland. But then sadly when I came back from Iceland and parked the bike, the bike just wouldn't turn over anymore. So I wanted to back then fix the motorcycle for the motorcycle surf trip. I actually wanted to do the motorcycle surf trip with this bike originally. The problem was just I had to fix this bike by myself because I had this bike in repairs on and off again and those experiences have been quite badly. I had to pay quite a lot of money to have this bike running the way it did uh, into Iceland and later found out that the repair was of very poor quality uh, with things having been missed and me having to pay a huge price for it. So all in all I was so incredibly upset with how the situation with having the motorcycle in the shop went that I made the decision to start working on my own bikes from now on because um, the work that was done was just very bad. Uh, there were uh, seals missing in the carburetors, um, certain parts in the carburetor were broken and bent, which I also later discovered when taking the carburetor apart. So that's why I made the decision to work on the bike myself. When working on this motorcycle myself, I, with all the things that someone starts completely new, uh, I discovered it's, it's very hard. There is a reason why people learn this as a trade and especially if you're just beginning with it when you have not the right tools, not the right space, all those things. So for two months I tried getting the bike running again. I, I thought that the starting problem probably lies in the carburetors um, because most of the problems that I had with motorcycles till now always the solution kind of was in the carburetors and with starting problems and everything. So I decided that I will clean the carburetors. Mm. I took the bike apart, put some carburetor cleaning spray in there and uh, when putting the bike back together everything actually ran fine for some time but then I went on two weeks of vacation and then nothing worked fine anymore and the bike didn't start anymore. So I then got back into that and tried to fix it again and again and I thought I maybe did something wrong in the carburetor so I took them off again, worked again on them, put them on again and this is kind of how it went for two months. Uh, also, I was suspecting that the fuel cock maybe is broken or the fuel pump, but back at that point I didn't have that much experience working on bikes, so I was so clueless that I was kind of scared of starting anything there. And with time running out towards the motorcycle surf trip, I then made the decision that I am tired of breaking down with the bike and want to get the right Enfield Interceptor. Because uh, at the time, that was also financially cheaper than getting this bike repaired in a professional shop, how I did that before. And um, I was just tired of getting fucked over by mechanics, basically. Also, until now, I exchanged the uh, air filter because I thought that maybe the problem lies there. and. When fixing the bike, I was push starting this bike so often, I worked deep until the night to fix it and was taking the bike apart and together and apart and tried over and over again until I was fed up with it. But then I realized uh, that I need more experience actually working on motorcycles to, to get this done. So I actually bought a second Yamaha XJ600 for roughly the same price. as a project bike to start working on privately because also filming everything at the same time was quite hard and I found a place where they would teach me how to learn on working on motorcycles. A bit. 
not completely a bit like I was doing the work kind of myself and got some help in between I, I don't know how much I exactly learned uh, the other XJ had problems also with the carburetors so I took carburetors apart completely and cleaned them also with an ultrasound bath and now that bikes run so far there's still some issues that, I, that it needs new brake lines and stuff but now from the way of how to approach working on a motorcycle I now have learned more and now can transfer that better to this motorcycle. So that's kind of what I plan on doing. I want to do a video series where I fix up this bike. And because I'm not the fittest at this yet, I will make it basically in a format where I work on the bike, then instantly edit the video and upload it. So you guys can join in on me working on the bike and give me tips. Maybe you guys have ideas and that you then can write in the comments how I should fix this bike basically. And in general, I wish to do more tours like I already did on this channel and maybe potentially one day do something like a world tour and with that in mind I want to build a world tour ready motorcycle out of the Yamaha XJ600 over the next few months and um, I will be doing this with this XJ as it already has uh, the off-road tires in its registration and I'm very curious about giving it a few modifications to make it even more touring compatible I would love to maybe upgrade the suspension. I don't know if that is possible with how the laws are here in Germany. I would have to check that out. But even if that's not possible, I want to give the bike heated grips. I want to give it some kind of suspension protectors and just make the bike running fine again so we can get on new adventures with it. Because something that is really important about my adventures and something that I discovered when owning the Royal Enfield Interceptor um, I want my videos to be accessible to a bigger group of people uh, so that really everyone can replicate my trips and uh, the best way to do it is to do it with a bike that everyone can buy from eBay. And also I want to give a raw perspective on how it actually is to fix a motorcycle because um, it's quite different than people would often expect from YouTube videos and how it's portrayed in the media. Also, I don't really know yet what will happen with the other XJ that I now kind of learned a little bit how to do this on. I also want to feature that on the channel and maybe that would be a good base for a project bike. So that we have something to do a little bit over the winter until the next tour starts. So all in all, I hope that you guys are looking forward to joining me on me repairing this motorcycle and this little journey of repairing a motorcycle without a lot of experience and also with very little tools and very little space and all this in winter it's it's super cold i'm sitting here in my garage right now and i have to rely on daylight and on uh, the weather being all right to do this and this is kind of how everyone will start who works on a motorcycle so i think this should be really interesting so i hope you guys are looking forward onto the video series of getting this bike back on the road basically. If you want to support my Yamaha XJ project of getting it back on the road, uh, the links to my Patreon and my PayPal are down in the description and I also am very thankful for subscribing and see you guys in the next one.